But Mike, turn on your mic. Start with Mike. Let's start with your impressions of uh, Coach Rivera. Uh, he's been great. Uh, very well prepared. I'm definitely not overwhelmed. Excited about the job. Uh, has harped on his level of expectation for us as a team and for him as a coach. And that's great to hear. You know, I was hoping he would come in, set the standards high. Uh, you know, he, he said in the first meeting, I don't want to use the fine system, but if you break the rules, I'll max you out. You know, and, and that was good to hear because I think you got to have guys know what's expected of them. And, and I'm excited that he's here. Well, when was, when was, oh, excuse me. When was the first time you met him? Was it before this camp? I actually met him when he was here visiting with Mr. Richardson and Marty. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I happened to be in the building when he was in there, and, and you know I knew he was kind of the lead candidate at that time, and, and met with him there. And his message has been the same since then about how he wants to be on offense, on defense, and what he wants you know the Panthers to be known for. So he's he's been overly consistent. Jordan, after having played in the same system for so long, how strange has it been, or what kind of adjustment has it been from learning a, yeah. a whole new system? It's been a lot of fun. Um, it's it's almost been like for me switching to a new team without having to move my family and go to a new city. You know, everybody's new. Uh, a lot of guys in the locker room are new. The, the, the language is new on the offense. Even learning how to block field goal protection differently this morning. So it's exciting for me. I think a lot of guys are enjoying that. You know, that might be why some players that were wanting out of here stuck around is is because it all it's all changed and I think it's for the better. You know, I had so much fun here the last eight years. I'll never forget those times, but you know sometimes change is, is nice, and I think everybody's enjoying it. Jordan, how strange is this camp, though? I mean, it's, it's not the two days; it's not the yeah. first day hitting, put on the pads, and go hit somebody. Right. Um, one of the days, just right. and, and the veterans, a lot of them aren't on the field. It's just kind of yeah. a strange camp, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, my neck definitely felt better this morning waking up than it normally <laughs> does on day two. Uh, it's a it's an extremely veteran friendly system. I think that it puts a lot of pressure on guys to learn how to practice without hitting. You know, speaking about pad level, hand placement, things like that. I think the coaches understand that, and they're definitely overly hyped or <coughs> harping on us about technique uh, and fundamentals because that's the one thing I'm a little nervous about that could suffer when you don't really have somebody tackling you or trying to uh, get to the quarterback at full speed, getting those good practice habits. But you know, the NFL is a year-round job for us, and it has been for a long time. You know, college is a year-round job for college players, so we are also um, used to and programmed to train year-round. I think most guys come in, in shape, and I don't think camp is a time to get guys in shape. It's a time to learn the system. I almost think that it's benefiting us more than anybody to make us have all these walkthroughs because you get sloppier a lot of times. You get more tired, and then you start hitting. Uh, but having walkthroughs today are out there in hats only. Uh -huh. And you really get a lot of work done, so you know I, I'm enjoying it. Jordan, I'd be curious to know kind of where you were this past week and how you process, how you got the news about all these signings, yeah. how you processed it, just kind of kind of your seat, you know, in this whole thing. I told uh, Steve Reed as we're walking in here that I read your guys' blogs to get information. So uh, no, I you know phone calls, um, texts, or texts from coaches and other players. You know, I was up in the mountains in the cool air in Idaho, so I had my phone turned off a lot. As some of you guys might know, they're trying to get a hold of me, but uh, <laughs> it's um, it, it was exciting. You know, every time I turned turned on my phone, I was getting a text about a new deal, a new player resigning. Um, some of the, most of the top free agents at positions were already on our team. We just had to resign them, and it was great to see that commitment because if we want to win, you know, guys that have been on our team were drafted here. I think those who those are the guys we want to use. Did it catch you by surprise? Um, you know, it didn't. Uh, last December, I called Mr. Richardson, asked him if I could talk with him, and I said, you know, what's the plan? Because it was kind of a doom and gloom time as the Panthers organization. And you know what? He told me that uh, we were going to hire a defensive coach and get an offensive attacking coordinator and a great QB coach. Uh, told us that we were, they told me we were going to draft a quarterback, number one, and then be aggressive in free agency. And you know, so I had faith in it, and it, and it happened just the way he said. So it, it's great for me to be here. You know, I got four more years on my deal, and hopefully I can be a part of the, the turnaround and, and win a lot of games. When, when, was that, that, when was that phone call, and did you take that information then and sort of disseminate it among some 
some other nah, guys. No, you know, he told me that he told me that in private. Uh, it was in December. I think we had a couple games left to go. Uh, and I shouldn't say with the number one pick, with, you know, with our top pick. Right. That's what he said. But um, I didn't tell anybody because, you know, I didn't want – he trusted me with the information. Now, you know, I'm singing his praises because he had a plan. You know, that gives me a lot of faith and it, it makes me feel comfortable about the direction we're headed because this is what he wanted to do. Was well, there a sense around the team that maybe that commitment had been lacking the last, somewhat the last couple of years? Uh, I don't I don't think that the, the commitment was lacking, but – um, I have a good enough relationship with him that I wanted to ask him what the – I knew there was a plan, and I wanted to ask him what it was. Uh, we had good players, 09 and, and 2010. We just didn't win. Um, you know, we fielded lots of pro bowlers and, and veterans and young guys, and uh, we just weren't good enough. We didn't do well enough anywhere. So I don't think you can blame any of that on, on who hired the player. Jordan, you've been around Steve as much as Smith, as much as anybody. To stand out there and say that he's been kind of a jerk and you know has something to prove. Right. You know, your impressions of that? Well, the thing you know, I know that you know about Steve is you never know about Steve. I mean, he's, <laughs> I've known him since '98, and um, he's always amazing to me. You know, I, if people ask me, sad that Steve's going to be gone. They ask me this in May. I said, well, don't count on Steve being gone. You know, he's great player. I've always loved him as a teammate because of what he can do off the field and, and or on the field and he's always trying to be a better guy off the field, you know, and, and, and I really respect that from him. I'm glad he's back and I think he's smart to stay because I don't know he's going to go anywhere and be in a better situation with him. We're going to throw the ball, ball more than we did before and, and they're going to try to utilize him as much as possible. So his odds of scoring points and winning games I think are just as good as, as starting out somewhere. Jordan, they've not talked about a whole lot, but what, what, what does it mean to have a healthy Jeff Hope on the side? It's great to see him back. You know, I, I know you guys have heard me say before that I think he can be as good as he wants to be. Uh, he's big, strong, physical, can move, and he sounds like himself again. Last year he was, you know, I wouldn't say he was depressed, but he, I mean, he it got to him not being on the field and having teammates look at him differently, you know, trainers and coaches kind of question where he's at. Uh, he makes our line so much better if he's out there. Uh, he's a difference maker in the run game and protects well. And takes a lot of pride in what he does. So, and, and just uh, off the field as well, you know, it's, it's, it's great having him back. Jordan, you talk about the changes that the, the, the system is. Mm -hmm. What are some of them? Could you let some of them? Know? I mean, what's not different? Uh, we're, we're running a lot of the same plays because everybody in the NFL does. If you look at it, they just call it something different. Uh, I think we're really going to try to utilize all our weapons, put in some special packages for some special players, um, you know, without getting too detailed into it. I think fans will be happy to see maybe open up the throttle a little bit more. Um, and then that's going to put a burden on us up front, And but that's something that we're all excited about. You know, all of us, we don't care how we move the ball. We can run 100 times or pass 100 times. We just want to get in the end zone and, and, and move the football. So. You know, yeah, I'm not saying we're going to score 60 points a game, but I, we're sure going to try. Did you ever settle in your mind in the offseason why things went so wrong this year? I mean, everybody's good. Yeah. We went, we won 11 or 12 games, whatever it was, in, in 09 or 08, and a lot of those could have gone the other way. You know, it's luck of the draw. It's it's injuries. It's it's whatever. But we just weren't good enough. You know, there's really no excuse. We were good enough. What's your impression, Rod? Uh, Ch Chud is uh, excited for this job. You know, he's been prepared. He pushes our tempo and walkthroughs. I don't know if you guys can tell from the side, but he, as soon as we get done with that play, he's calling the next play, calling the personnel to huddle, and, and he, that really trickles down to all the coaches on offense. Um, had a big meeting about uh, ball security. Even O lineman had to sit in on it. Uh, talking about how to hold the ball correctly with a clap drill for the cadence. I mean, he's a detail-oriented guy, and I think he's going to push the limits of what we can do and kind of expect of ourselves. Your thoughts on bringing more two big-time playmaking tight ends with a lot of experience, yeah. Nelson and Shockey? Well, he, I've heard a lot for eight years about that we've never had a fun tight end to watch. You know, we've had some <laughs> great guys and good friends of mine, but that seems like something that's been critiqued a lot. Well, we got our wish now, right? So. Uh, I think as much as Shockey um, 
uh, as excited as I am about what he can do on the field, I think it's great to kind of have a tough guy that's won some championships and been on a lot of winning teams, you know, college, high school even, and then the pros. That that formula for winning, I think, involves bringing in guys like that, veteran guys, to help teach the young guys kind of what it takes. Can you talk a little bit more about that, Jordan, that he sort of, have, I've heard other people say that he's kind of got a mean streak or right. a nasty streak that, that might be good, you know. For well, yeah, I, I, the, I texted him when he, when he first signed him, and he didn't get back to me for like two weeks. <laughs> and I said, man, where were you? He's like, oh, I was in uh, Scotland, I think he said, and I flipped a kayak in, in Loch Ness. <laughs> I said, geez, what are you doing over there? He's doing an adventure race or something. So, I mean, the guy's he's kind of a wild man. You know, you can see by his tats and uh, kind of the way he acts. But I love it. Um, I think we need more of that. Uh, and he works hard. I mean, he's we, we're down guys right now. You know, getting, while we're getting the CBA worked out, there's not as many tight ends. And he's taking his reps. And him and I are working together. And, you know, his room's actually right next to me in the dorms. I really kind of got to know him and had a lot of fun uh, doing that. So, um I like his attitude. You know, I don't think you can have 90 guys like that on a team, or you can't have 90 guys, you know, on the other end either. It's a mixture, and that's what makes football so special. Thanks, Jordan.